Hi guys, I wanted to make a video to keep a memory of those really weird times. There was a time not long ago, maybe two or three months, where this was just a disease from a faraway foreign land. It seems so distant and now it impacts all of us all around the world. But I think as it came from nowhere, it also is going to disappear one day. We don't really know when it's going to be and how long this is going to take, but this too shall pass. And I think what's really important is to remember that I think the coronavirus has united people like nothing ever before on a global scale. We really finally have one enemy to fight against and this makes us very united. But it's also important to remember that this was a time that was really very difficult for a lot of people and a lot of families. I guess that's another reason why I really wanted to make this video. One day all of this will pass and I hope that then when it does we will be able to look back and say hey this was really something difficult and we made it through. Because people have this tendency to take the good stuff for granted and forget about the hardship of the past. In some time where this is all a memory, hopefully sooner rather than later, we'll be able to look back at it and say, wow, that was messed up and that was surreal, but that was the norm for that time. And now it's passed and we have the world back as it was, maybe changed in some ways. And I really hope we're gonna appreciate the world as it is then. It really is the new norm. I mean, Geneva is a calm city, but this is ridiculous. I mean, of course, it's good that people are distancing themselves. The first cases of coronavirus were recorded in Switzerland in the beginning of March. By mid-March already, there was a big spike in the number of new cases. This was mainly in the cantons closer to Italy, where the spread of the disease was already quite massive. Then, end of March and beginning of April, the number of new cases grew very dramatically to, to as much as 1.5 thousand new cases per day. Which, for a country of the size of Switzerland, actually meant that the per capita new cases were among the highest in the world. On March 16th, the government ordered the closure of bars, restaurants, sports facilities and cultural spaces. Only businesses providing essential goods were allowed to stay open. The majority of corporations sent all of their employees to home office. Big events like the Geneva Motor Show, Montreux Jazz Festival and the Basel World Watch Fair were all cancelled. And suddenly mid-March we found ourselves living in this very weird new world, working from home. Uh, going to groceries meant waiting in a long line where spaces between people were marked with tape on the floor. You could only enter a supermarket once somebody left and upon entrance your hands were sprayed with sanitizer. The long lines to supermarket also made food deliveries such a crucial service, but there was a new procedure for this as well, with the courier leaving the box of food at your door, ringing the door. We lived in this weird state for almost a month now, but the decisions of the government and the actions of the citizens who were very obedient to the newly imposed rules seemed to work quite well. The number of new cases fell dramatically and now is as low as in the beginning of March. And on April 16th, the government announced that they will be easing the measures to the disappointment of many. Slowly, small businesses will reopen. May 11, children will be able to go back to school. We'll see how the world will look then, uh, if we should worry about a second wave, and how we're going to continue with our daily business until the vaccine is found. As you can see, barely anything is the end of the world. Stay healthy and stay safe, and uh, see you in the next one.